Oh hi there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome to a build video for Trail Makers. Yay, Trail Makers, I'm flying. I've not really played this game before, but I've had a look at it and it seems fun. If you like scrap mechanic and other kind of builder sandbox games, then this is definitely one for you. And I thought for my very first video on Trail Makers, I should build something appropriate to my username and, and my general thing. I'm going to try and build a pirate ship. It's going to be... It's going to be pretty fun, so I hope you'll you'll stick around. First of all, I think we need to start with uh, some basic hull type components, like the bottom of the ship, really. And so I think, how how big is this ship going to be? About about that big? That probably makes uh, as much sense as any. That seems reasonably long, but that is about right. And then we're going to need some uh, buoyancy. Now the question I have is, do these provide buoyancy when they're not in water? Or is it just when they are in water? Do they have to be underwater or can they just be part of the ship? I think that probably makes sense just like that. So I can just drag these along along here and get myself nicely sorted out. I'm going to do some building. So stick around and let's see how we go. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this as a shape for the hull, which tells me that I need to basically uh, clone that now, save myself the trouble of building it all over again. And once I've shoved that on this side, and I might just be able to get it, not quite, get it here like this. Um, that, that feels like a pretty good pirate ship hull. I have no idea how buoyant it will be. I suspect that it will not be particularly buoyant, but maybe with uh, more pontoons like that, kind of that all the way along, I will be okay. So let's see if that will, uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can just lay them on and see what happens when we completed those. We then need to work on the bow and the stern of the ship. And then I think we need to mess around with appropriately piratical armaments and yeah things like that it should be pretty should be pretty fun i like the way this is going so far well i'm pretty pleased with the shape of the ship so far so the back is looking uh, fairly nautical it's now time to make sure we put in a few railings so i've got these little railings here that seem to be quite suitable i have no idea if this thing is going to float I suspect that it's extremely heavy and it won't float, but we're going to have to find out the answer to that question uh, soon, because for now we just got to get this thing all kitted out with pretty pirate ship type activities, and then we'll see how it goes. You've even got nice little steps here up to the up to the poop deck at the back of the boat. So uh, let's just get this laid out, and then we've got to also probably think about some cannons. It would seem to make sense to have some on a pirate ship after all. And I mean, this part is looking pretty good. I also am conscious that I need some kind of seat. And although I don't have the perfect uh, captain's chair, uh, I suspect that this will do the trick. I mean, I could go for an operator seat. Yeah, let's try that. That at least we're standing up in, right? Put the operator seat there. Uh, it looks to be roughly about the center. Wow, that, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. So let's get on, finish the front of the ship and see what happens when we throw some mass on it and drop it in the water. Okay, so the basic hull shape is pretty much done, but one thing I'm conscious of is that we do need some kind of bow sprit and that's not exactly right so let's uh, flip this over like this and uh, let's make it so that when we press key one it's going to toggle to 42 degrees and then let's uh, 42 I don't know it should go all the way over we'll have hold position after that and that means that we should uh, probably I'm kind of tempted to uh, duplicate this, but I'm going to put uh, some kind of strut or structure on it first. Can I rotate this one to attach? I'm not sure I can. There we go. So this can be the bowsprit. Let's see if it will 
uh, work nicely or not. Um, I think three is probably long enough. Let's have a look. Uh, yes. So then let's just copy and paste this part and this. No. Okay. Select the. No. Just that part there. No. There we go. Copy that and put it on the other side. Yeah, let's see if that will do the trick when the boat is launched. Meanwhile, we have these masts that we need to attach. They aren't uh, super great so far, but I think we can at least figure out if they will do the trick. So, I don't know. Let's uh, come here, masts. Let's put you guys somewhere towards the front. I can't exactly get them centered because we're not a odd numbered boat, but that'll that'll do the trick. And then this one here, uh, no, undo that. So this one here will go in the middle and we'll spec it out with some sails and uh, see what we, what we look like in a second. One of the things we need to do now is to put on uh, some kind of cannon on this thing. So I'm not, maybe I should put like, a little gap in some of the railings here. I can do one on each side there and then I can do uh, maybe I'll do one back here just put it like that and one back here there we go and we'll get this cannon and put it, uh, let me have a look let's rotate it around oh, yes that seems pretty good is it gonna shoot over i can actually put it on a little block that would probably make a little bit more sense and i might move these things over so i'm gonna i'm gonna lay some cannons out and then we're gonna see what that looks like i expect it's going to look really awesome i'm sure you'll agree with me well i must admit i think this thing is looking pretty ship shape right now i don't have any other well maybe i have one little decoration i could put on the top mm -mm. Maybe, maybe not. Is there a little single? Oh, I can probably do that. Yeah, let's let's see if we can put like a single tail fin, like for flags. There we go, on the top of every mast. And ah, oh, that looks that looks even cooler. So now the problem is, how are we going to get this thing into the water? It does have cannons on it already. You can kind of see the see them there on the deck. So that's working really well. Um, do we want some kind of headlamp? I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's put one down. Uh, yeah, let's put one down on each side here. That seems like a great idea. Why not do that? Do they need any kind of configuring? No, they just seem to be on. Uh, we need to get this thing into the water. So a jet engine, probably not a good idea. A propeller is probably the right idea. And so I need to find a place to put these uh, at the back of the ship. So hmm, I suspect a uh, some kind of uh, block in here that's facing uh, out a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe a, actually a slightly longer one might be required. Whoop! Come here. No, this one. Uh, rotate that and just stick it in the corner there. And then insert another one over here. And let's see what we can do for propulsion. Uh, that is going to crash into everything. So I suspect we might need another block just to make sure things are in the water. Uh, let's try let's try something like that to really, really get it in. Um, would that do the trick? can't help but feel that if we just rotated it and that seems okay doesn't it if you ask me so we chuck that one over here as well uh, I'm going to say that yes it does seem okay so I'm gonna do forward key for that and I think somewhere in here we better put some uh, some engines somewhere into the boat and I'm going to chuck them in here in the compartment itself. A very powerful but fragile engine. Uh, let's have a power output, 1300. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna need like a couple of those maybe. Let's just see what happens when we put two in. What configuring do they do? No, that seems to be fine. So now what we have to do is actually get this thing into the sea to see what happens. So I just wanna make sure I select all of it. Um, yep, all right, let's, let's just see what happens. Build. What's gonna happen? Creating physics. <gasps> oh, it actually kind of works. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, not build. No. No, 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 no. It's falling over. And why did I put the propellers on the... I put the propellers on the front of the boat. Let me just fix this. And then we're going to have another little go. Make sure this thing is working beautifully. All right, trying again. I have at least put the propellers in the right place. I don't know if the pontoons... <gasps> It's not too... No. <laughs> oh no, something's broken. It is not quite working. Let me check the right cannons. Oh, the right cannons are working. On the left cannons. <laughs> it's a little... Okay, it's a little bit broken. Let's, let's repair this thing. Uh, let's... How about we just build it again? Okay, so we have some balance issues. I just need to stick some pontoons. Uh, I actually almost wonder if I need to reduce the number of pontoons slightly. It's sitting quite high in the water and I can't help but feel that if perhaps we gave it a little bit of um, space out to one side um, by way of having it, uh, I don't know, have more have basic pontoons further out that maybe it would be happier that way so let's just test that out and see if we can't keep this thing a little more upright okay i'm pretty hopeful that we've got it now so let's hit build and swim away from all these dropping parts oh 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 no <laughs> It's uh, not uh, quite working as intended. Can I at least fire the left and right cannons? Not underwater, it seems. Right, I think I've got it this time. Wish me luck, lads. Let's see how we go. The SS Tiny Pirate is uh, rolling over and sinking. That's, um, that's not ideal. Let's try again. Once more with feeling, that's not too bad. I'll take that, that seems to be in the water. Okay, we're sailing, we're on it. And... The propellers aren't going round. Ah, uh, we have jet engines on the back instead of propellers since I couldn't figure out how to get the propellers sink going. So here we go, I'm just gonna test it gently. Whoa, that is loud. And I've got little directional thrusters. I've got little directional thrusters here, look. Oh, have we run out of power? And then we've got two left and right cannons. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Okay, come back together, ship, come back together. Okay, let's get back on board. Okay, we need to lower the bow spread, of course, first. Uh, I don't know why those cannons are so unhappy. I also don't know why we run out of power so much. It's got this little little punt. I don't know. Do we need more engines? I think perhaps we do. I can I can I can steer. And what I can also try to do is I can cut the ship in half. <laughs> okay, let's let's pick this thing up one more time and get it working perfectly. All right, I think we're there. I'm going to I'm just going to save this blueprint just in case and then we're going to launch this ship. Let's give it a go. I've put in another engine. I'm hoping that will do whatever is required to make this thing a little happier. No, no it will not. It is sinking again. Okay. Oh, one more fiddle. All right, let's have a look. Is it going to sink now? Actually, oh, it's popped up a little bit. Oh, this could be it. This could be the final brilliant, brilliant journey. Seems fairly stable. 
shit. Oh. Okay, let's repair that first of all. So, uh, let's uh, lower the bowsprit. Cool. Seems fairly stable. Yeah, trucking along. These jet engines run out of power and I don't know why. That's very loud. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. That, that's easy enough. Okay, let's uh, build this first of all. So, there is an issue here with this bowsprit pieces. Um, uh, we're just going to put that on backspace and that one on backspace. Okay, so now, now it will work. Yeah, now it'll work just fine. So let's get back in. Oh, let's get in, get in, get in. Okay, so now put the nose down. Good, power spread is ready. Turning works that way, turning works that way. Now we can drive. Yay, it's working. It looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. Now let's check out how the uh, how the broadside works. I've raised the cannons a little bit. Oh, perfect. That is brilliant. Oh, hands to the guns. And we're currently shelling the underwater. Well done. And with a little push, off we go. It's a little bit nose heavy, but not too bad. All things considered, I'm pretty pleased with it. Not very good at handling, but I'd expect that for a ship this size. Well, I think that's probably about enough for me and the SS Tiny Pirate. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more trail makers, then let me know. Perhaps we can build some targets to blow up or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, until next time, good night.